Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP ProBook 445 G7 model and in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace your internal battery for your laptop. If your battery is not holding up any more charge, it's just discharging really quickly, then you might want to replace it. By replacing a new battery, you're not going to change anything in the windows, any configuration or anything like that, it's just plug and play. But I'm going to give you a tip at the end of the video, how you're supposed to uh, start with a new battery and what you should do every couple of months to keep your battery at the best uh, working conditions. All right, with all this set, power off the laptop, turn it off completely, flip it upside down, and we're going to grab ourselves a screwdriver set. We're going to be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. We are going to be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools, and tweezers, and a few other stuff. If not, get the basic set. And for the opening tools, I'll be using a metallic guitar pick. The metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with these two on hand, we're going to get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. Two screws in the front end in the corners. These screws can be removed entirely. So we're going to remove these two and keep them in one pile. So hold them from the back and remove these two screws. The rest of the screws, they have a C-lock on the other side of the case. The C-lock will prevent the screw from coming out entirely. So it holds up to the screws. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to twist the screws until you see it coming out, but until you see that it's loosened up, but don't pull it out because it's not gonna come out. Just leave it like that and do the same thing for the rest of the screws. So I'm just gonna loosen up the rest of the screws. Also, if you guys like this video, if it helps you to replace your battery and upgrade, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. Well, now that we loosen up all the screws, what you want to do here is to put the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. And then you want to just twist it and you want to hear those nice big flex sounds. You're not breaking anything, you're just loosening up the clips. You want to do that on the front, just twist, 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 go all around to the corner and work yourself. I'm sticking about one or two millimeters, I'm not sticking the whole guitar pick. Go to the back corner right there you can do the back rail right in here put it in there just twist it i'm doing this motion at the back there we go a little more and in the corner back if you want we start from this there we go once you did that now all you need to do is to put your fingernails in here grab it as much as you can and then you want to do a little yank upward like this and then you want to hear two clicks. Those are the clips underneath that the, these are called the hooks. The hooks grab it from the battery. So if you feel that tension, you just want to yank it up slowly and you want to remove it. And the battery is right in front of you in here. The battery model is an RE03XL. This is an 11.55 volt, 45 volt, 45 watt hour battery. The capacity it's rated at 3750 milliamp hour battery i'll try to get the link for this one and i'll leave it in the video description so you guys can purchase if you want to purchase directly from the hp website they will ask you for a part number and it will tell you right in here hp replacement with hp spare part is an l32 let me see 3265 6-005 that's the spare part, but you can get it with the main HP uh, battery number model. Right, to remove the battery, there's one screw right in here and one screw right down here. You want to remove these two screws. And after that, all you want to do, put your finger right in here, grab it from here by the fan. And then you want to bring this side up towards the ceiling and it will get disconnected. And then you want to is sliding a 45 degree towards the fan because of the clips down here and this is a one two three cell battery let's say you got the new battery you want to put the bottom corner here on the clip under the clip make sure the screw hole matches bring it down evenly push down on this corner down 
and put the two screws that you removed on the right side of the battery. Once you have the new battery in there, what you want to do, one last step down here is to put the bottom cover, the bottom cover, I'll put the back corners first, and then I'm going to push down really hard on the sides, and I'm going to hear that nice click sound, those are the triggers getting locked in place, the back, and there we have it. If you see any opening, you can just pinch them together and it will go to its place. And last thing down here is to tighten up all the screws and put the two screws in the front end of the laptop. Again, uh, once you put the new battery in there, you don't want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it off, you want to plug in the charger and you want to let it sit there for four to five hours charging. After four to five hours, you want to unplug the charger and turn on the laptop and put the brightness of the screen down to 50%. You want to discharge it very slowly, gently and slowly. Don't um, put any load or anything to um, rush the process. You want to bring the charge down to 20%, whatever is the limit of the, of the windows. Then you want to power it off. Then you want to leave charging again for four to five hours. After four to five hours, then you can turn it on and use it as you wish. That initial charge and discharge, it is very important for the new battery to be working in a good conditions. You can repeat this process once every two months to keep the health of the battery really high. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.